So two and a half pounds of clay and I'm centering it up. All right, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna do about a two inch base. I want this to be kind of rather small footed so there's a lift to it even though it's wide. That's just a personal preference of mine. I make a lot of pots in this form. Okay, so I've spent a little time compressing the floor and now I'm bringing the first pull up, compressing inward as I come up. Compressing this top clay down. Picking up excess water. See how I'm pushing that clay inward and up. And I'm really braced against my body so that everything is staying on perfect center. Little compression down there to keep these top clay particles tightly compressed. All right, one more pull, getting the majority of the clay up. Now, I have to remember to not pull this cylinder too thin because I'm gonna stretch it way out. So again, I'm holding some of the clay at the top a little thick. In this next pull, I'm gonna actually start bringing this clay outward. So you can tell compared to some of the other cylinders I've done, this is not nearly as tall because I need a thicker wall for it to be able to go out. So here I'm gonna start and I'm gonna just go a little ways out. And somewhere right about up here, I'm gonna transition. My inside hand is doing almost all the work. And I know this is the clay that's gonna to have to be coming across the top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and already give it a hint of what its job will be. I'm gonna to come to the bottom and out I go again. You can tell I'm still not using a rib. Somewhere out here, I'm gonna transition up. Right about here's my turn. And I've still got some pretty nice thickness on this clay here for later when I need to do my finishing. Okay, so that's a pretty nice shape it is it as it is, but we're gonna go lower and wider. So watch this, I'm gonna go in and push the clay against the side of my rib and bring it outward. My rib is holding very firm and I'm bringing my clay out and into it. And I'm just gonna come right up to my transition and stop. I'm not worrying about up here. I've got enough clay to deal with this later. When you're pressing this clay outward, make sure that you're taking your time, not moving up the pot too quickly. So I'm pushing out again into the rib. This is gonna be my last motion outward and up. And I'm gonna stop somewhere right there. The only thing I'm not liking about this is that my widest point is right here and I would rather it be up here. So I'm gonna move it up. So I've got my rib and I'm just pushing out and into my rib and moving my widest point way up here. Why am I doing that? Because that's where I personally like it. I like a wide top shoulder. Okay, so. I'm finished down here except for cleaning up with a wood stick. I've got just a touch of water down inside, so I'm gonna pick it up now. Just a touch. And I'm gonna look at my form because once I start choking this neck in, that's it. I'm not going in again. So I'm gonna work on the integrity of the line of this vessel right now. And I see a little issue down here that wasn't a 
perfect line that I want to fix and a little transition right there that I want to fix. And now I'm feeling pretty good about finishing up the top. So I'm going to go ahead and move this clay inward. Make sure when you're choking this neck in that you have some water. So I'm just turning it around and inward. I'm going to start pulling in now. This is gentle work right here. I'm not yanking this clay around. If I do with this thrown finish down here, I'll tear this whole pot up. So just be gentle with it. Full revolutions with each movement of your pull. You can see I'm taking my time about it. Now, I'm going to stop right there and clean up the integrity of the line all the way up. So right here, there's a little area. Do you see that? That it's a little lower. I'm just going to put my finger in there and bump it up into my rib. There it is. And so now my pot is pretty close to finished all the way to here. So this is a nice kind of collar. Um, I don't think that's what I'm going to do right now, though. I think I'm going to bring it down like that and then pull this in some more. Even more, because what is good in this exercise is how far can we go in? Okay, now I've got some more clay that I can go ahead and reinforce. This vessel's looking quite nice. So you may want to leave this with a straight collar coming up. I'm going to bring this shoulder up just a little bit higher. Did you see that? I could still get in there and do it. Okay, so if you're worried about it, take your trusty torch and torch it a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to make sure I've got everything in pretty good shape and give this an additional little tuck over. So I'm going to put a little water there. And I'm just gonna fold that baby over a little bit like that. And now I'm gonna push in even further. And I think somewhere right about there is where I'm gonna stop this pot. So I'm gonna clean up my edge. I'm gonna look at my line all the way up and I'm really liking it. And I'm just gonna take my trusty little knife and I'm going to cut some of this off right here because I don't want a tower on the top. There we go. And I'm going to take this clay and turn it downward. Like that. Finish my rim right there. And let this be the most simple of elegant forms. So, did you see how many different pots this could be as I was bringing this rim, this neck in and in and in? It's had a lot of options to be a lot of different kinds of forms. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up now. I'm going to bring a little accent right here to the top. It's probably going to have a stony blue body with crystals and a satin black collar is what I'm envisioning. A little small satin black collar. And this collar is about the width of the foot. Can you see that? And that's going to be a really pleasing balance. See how I'm cleaning that edge right there? There's a place where my finger pushed in right there, so I'm going to fix it. Now, all I've got to do is clean up the mouth, do my undercut at the base, and I'm done. 
nice little wood stick. And I'm just going to undercut right under the base. Bring this clay away from the pot. There we go. It's my little wax line that makes me happy. A little more clay to pull away. This is a sticky gummy kind of clay. So it doesn't work quite as efficiently as like a nice stoneware for cleanup. So just take your time with it if you're working with B-Mix and get a nice cleanup so you don't have to do it later. I'm gonna come against the wall a little bit right there. And now it's important to me that this pot is just ready to go. So you may need in the beginning to torch this a little bit to do this small of a foot and not trim at all. And it's not against the rules. You do whatever you have to do to make it work. There's the pot. Golly, that's a beauty. Now you try.